Because the flu can produce a high fever, it is important to know how to measure your own and others' temperature and when to seek medical attention. A person's body is like a furnace and its temperature is the thermostat. The average body temperature is 98.6 degrees Fahrenheit, but it can vary by one degree higher or lower. A temperature of approximately 100 degrees Fahrenheit is generally considered to be a fever. A fever indicates that the body is under attack from a viral or bacterial invasion and provides a way for your body to fight off this disease or illness. A thermometer measures the temperature or degree of heat the body produces. Although you may detect a fever when the skin is warm to the touch, to get an accurate reading, you need a thermometer. The most common types of thermometers are bulb, digital, and tympanic. Old-fashioned bulb thermometers that contain mercury are no longer recommended because of the likelihood of exposure to toxic mercury if the thermometer breaks. These thermometers are usually glass and have the mercury visible in the interior. Dial 211 to find out where in your local area to properly dispose of your mercury thermometer. Digital thermometers are relatively inexpensive and are available at any retail store or pharmacy. Paying more for a thermometer does not always equal quality. You can get the best quality thermometer for less than $15. The tympanic, or ear thermometer, is highly sensitive to temperature readings in the ear and gives a quick reading, but ear wax buildup can make the reading incorrect. The three best ways to take a temperature are orally, or by mouth, axillary, or under the arm, and rectally, or in the bottom. For newborns and infants up to three months old, taking the temperature rectally gives the most accurate reading. From three months to three years old, you can take a child's temperature rectally or under the arm. From four to five years old, you can take the temperature rectally, under the arm, or by mouth. And five years and older, under the arm or by mouth. Take a child's temperature orally only if the child can easily hold the thermometer in their mouth and sit still while their temperature is taken. Let's look at how to accurately take a temperature with each of these three methods. Before taking a temperature by mouth, make sure that it has been at least 15 minutes since drinking hot or cold liquids. First, clean the thermometer with soap and water or with rubbing alcohol and then rinse. Turn the thermometer on and place the thermometer tip in the mouth under the tongue. Wait for the designated time according to the instructions for that particular thermometer, usually about a minute, and then listen for the beep. Remove the thermometer and read the digital display. A reading of 99.5 degrees Fahrenheit or higher is considered to be a fever when the temperature is taken orally. You can also use oral thermometers to take a temperature under the arm. Turn on the thermometer and place the tip in the armpit against the skin. Hold the arm tightly against the chest to hold the thermometer in place. Wait for the beep, remove the thermometer, and check the reading. With this method, a temperature of 99 degrees Fahrenheit or higher indicates a fever. Taking a temperature rectally gives the best reading for children under three years old. Be sure to label the thermometer for rectal use only. Place a small amount of lubricant or petroleum jelly on the tip of the thermometer. Place the child across your lap or on a firm surface and steady them with your hand on their lower back. Or place the child face up with legs to the chest. Turn on the thermometer and insert it one half to one inch into the anal opening. Don't insert it too far. If you get resistance, stop. Hold the thermometer in place with two fingers. Keep your hands on the baby's bottom. Wait for the beep, then remove the thermometer and read the digital display. A reading of 100.4 degrees Fahrenheit or higher indicates a fever. Clean the thermometer again when you have finished. While the majority of flu cases are mild, and most people feel better after treating the flu at home for several days, it can be dangerous. Call your doctor if a child or an adult has the following symptoms. A high fever or fever that lasts for several days, rapid breathing or difficulty breathing, stiffness in the neck, chest pain, blue or gray skin color, confusion, lightheadedness, difficulty waking up once asleep, seizures, persistent vomiting, or symptoms that start to get better and then get worse. Otherwise, 
treat flu symptoms as needed. Stay home and get plenty of rest. Drink plenty of fluids. Take over-the-counter medications to treat the symptoms. Take pain and fever-reducing medications such as acetaminophen, Tylenol or a generic brand, ibuprofen like Advil, Motrin or other generic brands, or aspirin. Do not give aspirin to anyone younger than 20 years old because of the risk of RISE syndrome, a rare but serious illness. Run a cool mist humidifier. Be sure to clean it regularly as per the instructions. Taking a temperature, especially a child's temperature, may take some practice, but knowing how to use a thermometer correctly to get an accurate reading helps you ensure the best home care for family members with the flu. For more information from the Texas AgriLife Extension Service about flu season preparedness, visit texashelp.tamu.edu.